Welcome to another episode of Young TV. I'm your host, Jessica. This week, we are reporting on the recent Arizona Cactus Classic Basketball Tournament. We also had the chance to speak with Don Diamond and Nadine Basha about their commitment to early childhood development and the First Things First initiative. So sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Don Diamond and uh, we're going to be watching Young TV. tape that Nadine su supplied to my daughter, where it showed how the mind in the, uh, of a child uh, really starts from the year two to year four or five, earlier than I were in shape and so that it just resonated with me and no one was looking at that. So our family had a meeting and decided that we needed to get a priority of preschool and that's what we're really exempted from. It's terrific that you're getting involved in a program like this. So what specifically is going on in preschools right now to help this program? Begin? Well, we found, fortunately, uh, my daughter, Elaine, identified United Way at this young man, not so young anymore, Dan, Ka Dan Kavanaugh, and he is so very good at it. And so when we found there was a program already there that they just needed financing to get the program out and expanding, we gave them the money and we were very, very uh, impressed. And, uh, so that we were friends to make more money, and then Helene came up with the idea of getting some leverage by making it a challenge grant. And so they're raising an extra 200000 a year, I'm not mistaken, that's every terrific. year for that. So that's, and I think the business community now is aware that Nadine did this first things first, which raised it to the upper level of everybody, not everybody, but most of us knowing it. So I think Tucson's well on its way. And of course, we do so poorly with our children, and that's a very important priority. How many years does it, do you think it'll take effect before the people that are getting this education as preschoolers now and the parents that are getting this education? How many well, years? How many years do you think it'll take till the community can see the effects of that? That's like asking when the market will turn in real estate. You can always have a hope, right? <laughs> um, I think that it's uh, 
I guess the cycle would be five years before it really shows up and everybody is totally, not everybody, but the people that count are really aware that it's working and that's where we should have emphasis. Do you have a program set up for, since this is a zero to five years old program? We have a five year program and I believe that um, the family likes what's happening so they'll continue. That will be a priority. Terrific. And do you have, since this is aimed for a younger audience of up and coming people in Tucson, do you have any words of advice for them about how to be involved in the community and keep educating their children as well? Well, if I can work it out with my three grandchildren who I'm working on to succeed and continue to do the work that my parents did and my wife's parents and that I'm doing and that Helene's doing, if it can, if I, I'd be happy just to settle that the three grandchildren understand because they have the means to follow it up, that they have the same feeling that should have to continue on for Tucson. You know, I, I'm not, I don't think I can handle the whole community, but I'll settle for my three grandchildren. Well, it's a good way to start. Thank you very much for helping our community, very Mr. Nice Diamond. It was nice to meet you, too. All right. All right. Thank you.